While perhaps best known as the first woman to own a seat on the New York Stock Exchange, Muriel Siebert broke through barriers to both equal pay and promotional opportunities for women, and spent much of her career advocating for the rights of women and minorities in business. Convinced that the proverbial glass ceiling would prevent her from achieving further growth, she founded her own firm, Siebert and Company, in 1967. That same year, she made several attempts to buy a seat on the exchange. Because purchasing a seat requires sponsorship by an existing seat holder, she asked ten men to sponsor her. Nine turned her down. Some even asked that she not pursue a seat for no reason other than she was a woman. One of the men did agree to sponsor her purchase, and on December 28, 1967, Muriel Siebert got her seat. Siebert and company continued to thrive, and in 1977, just ten years after founding her own firm. She accepted a five-year position as the New York State Superintendent of Banks, making her the highest-ranking female regulator in history.